guys, this is Kelly and I wanted to buzz on and tell you about a new recipe that I have found. It's called Zucchini Crisp by All Recipes. If you were like me, I was inundated with zucchini this summer and so I found new ways to make it. The first thing I did was I googled zucchini recipes and this one is the one that came up. So let's get started with our recipe. The first thing I do is we peel it and um, I'm using a peeler because it's easier. I don't want to use a knife so much because I'm kind of heavy handed when I peel sometimes. So I want to keep everything that I can. So I peeled um, three zucchinis, one's a fairly big size one, one's pretty medium size, and one's a smaller fat one. So that's what I do first. As you can tell, um, it's a, some of it's a little easier, some of it's a little harder, but you just continue to peel and peel. <laughs> I know this is not the most exciting part of it, but I'm trying to use what I can of the zucchini. So I've got it all completely peeled. Now I'm chopping it up. And this is going to be a pretty rough chop. I'm really not um, making it all the same size. I'm just trying to just chop it up as I can. And here you can see that I have a couple or some, not more, it's more than a couple, that have some pretty hard seeds in it. So I don't want to cook those. I'm sure that they'll come, they'll soften up like the other seeds. But these look, these were a little bit harder and I didn't like them. So I took a spoon and I just dug them out of the zucchini. These were probably because this one was an older zucchini. So they've set for a little while and the seeds got hard. So all I did was take a spoon, pop them out, throw them away. Um, for the most part, all the other seeds I did not take out because they will soften and you can eat them. So I don't usually take them out other than if they're hard like that. So now I'm just giving them a pretty good rough ch chop. And yes, I know when you transfer, you should not use the cutting or the sharp edge of your knife to transfer. However, it's kind of what I do. So I do try to remind myself to use the back of the knife, but I never get it done. So here I'm just chopping. As you can see, they're all different sizes. However, I am trying to make them pretty close to the right, the same size, because when you cook them, they're going to all cook, um, you know, you want them to cook evenly, basically. So that's what I'm trying to do at this point is kind of get them all in some kind of, you know, order, I guess. Not really order, but um, chopped up. So we're just chopping and I'm just transferring them to a bowl is all I'm doing at this point. I have not measured that bowl. So at this point, I'm just chopping and got a few more to do. Um, because eight cups is quite a few to do. So we're just getting them all chopped up. Some of them, I, I do make some a little smaller than what I think I should. But I did do that. Now here is my, uh, all the ones I've chopped. So I have not measured it yet. So I pour them in my baking dish because I don't want to get another bowl and dirty up another bowl. I'm going to use my baking dish. So that's why I just pour them in there. And so I, I'm using a one cup. And it's really not a, a 
precise cup, as you can tell, it's, it's a little bit over. So we're gonna get more than just eight cups. I think I wind up with about 10, um, comparatively, cups of zucchini. And because maybe 10 to 12, somewhere in that. I can't remember exactly, but it's over the eight. So, um, like I said, because we're making, you know, it's a little bit more, a little bit, you know, some of them had a little bit less, but I'm trying to make sure um, I have enough. I, I mean, definitely wanted eight cups, but I'm not going to waste it either because I have a, a, a pan that I'm going to put it all in, as you can see. So we have measured it, and now it is eight cups of zucchini all chopped up. I'm reading my recipe. So we're using a half a cup um, of white sugar for the white sugar. And here we go. So we got the white sugar, and I'm just measuring it um, right out of my canister and just um, sprinkling it on the, you can't see it because it's kind of out of shot. I'm also giving a little bit more of the white sugar because remember we had more zucchini than what we had, you know, and I want to make sure I have enough to cover everything. So it's not a whole, I'm not doing a whole, a whole, um, like a doubled recipe, just enough to show you that I'm putting a little bit more in for the extra zucchini. So I don't, you can use real lemon juice. Um, I didn't have any lemons on hand. I do have this, so I kind of keep this on hand. So I use this and that's a third of a cup of lemon juice. And I'm going to, I don't think I, yep, here we go. We put a little bit more in and I don't use the whole fourth of a cup. I only use like a half of the fourth of a cup. So that, again, we're just adding a little bit more, not a whole lot more. Now, we use the ground cinnamon. There's two tablespoons, uh, excuse me, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And so we're going to measure those out. Uh, I didn't use it in this recipe, but I have in the, I have a, a container what I do is you put a little bit of vanilla in especially when you're baking um, like cakes and stuff you put a little bit of vanilla in your cinnamon real vanilla and it actually um, infuses in there and it's so good so that's just a tip I have for cinnamon now um, as you notice, I put that on there. Now we're going to the ground nutmeg, which is the recipe calls for one teaspoon. Again, we put a little bit more in and I do get a clump in there. So I want to make sure I take the clump out or smoosh it down anyway. So we put that in and there we go. See, we put just a little bit. You don't need a lot. You're just needing a little bit more since we... Um, added more zucchini. So here we are, we're just mixing it up and just making sure everything has got some ground cinnamon, some um, ground nutmeg, the sugar, the lemon juice. We want to make sure everything has is, is coated. And so that's what I'm doing. I just took a, a spatula and did that. You can use your hands. Um, I've done that a lot too. Um, now, I I don't have any Pam or sp spray, so I have a bottle that just has oil in it. That's all I've done is put some oil in it. And I sprayed it on my pan, and then I take a paper towel, I wipe it uh, around, and make sure I don't have any left, you know, you don't want it all greasy. But you want it to make it, you know, where it doesn't stick. Then I put it in the pan. The thing I do with this recipe is I change it a little bit. Um, it tells you to go ahead and do the mixture for the top of it. 
um, which is your crisp. I found that if you put this in the oven first, because you, I, which is what I do, I put it in for about 30 to 40 minutes, and I make sure that the zucchini is. The first time I made this recipe, I just did it how the recipe said to do it, and I had the zucchini wasn't completely done. So I had to keep putting it back in, putting it back in. And when I did, the crisp got harder. So this is what I do is I just go in and make sure that um, you don't want it smushy, but you want it done. So now I'm making the crisp, which is one cup brown sugar that I packed, one cup of rolled oats, one cup of all-purpose flour, and a half a cup of margarine. So all I'm doing is mixing it up. I've put it on the the pan already. So here I am. I'm taking it out because what I'm going to do is I'm going to smush it around because it's harder because of everything. So I put it in for about 10 minutes and then I take it out and I smush it around, make sure it covers, you know, more area than just plopping it on there. Then I put it back in the oven and technically the recipe calls for 40 to 45 minutes. Remember I've put it in for about 30 to 40 minutes for the to get the zucchini done. So now I'm putting it back in for about another 10-15 minutes to get the crisp done. So this is how, what I have done, and I like that how I've done it. So here we go. We're going to put it back in the oven for, again, about 10, 15 minutes. You just want to crisp it up, make it sure it's brown. And here is the final product. And I think it turned out awesome. My husband, the first time he ate it, thought it was apples and not zucchini. So that was a plus. So... That is my recipe. Again, I'll leave the description in the description box or the recipe in the description box. So let's go over to Kim and see what she's crafting today. Have a good buzzy day.